protocols like ICMP and also maybe IGMP or some other protocols. Because of that, we know about the network layer and we have used the network layer protocols. In network layer, we have two main functions. The first is addressing, the second is routing, okay? Logical addressing and routing of packets. You have learned about these functions in the CCNA and you will learn more than CCNA in this class about the routing and also addressing. After that, here we have data link layer. Data link layer is a layer that provides us the hardware addressing and also framing and some other features. Okay, and, and in this video, I'm going to talk about this layer a little more. For example, here we have multiple protocols like Ethernet and also some other protocols like the, uh, for example, Wi-Fi, okay, for wireless communication and also like the frame relay, ATM, or some other protocols. Because of that, in the data link layer also, we have multiple protocols. And here in the physical layer, you know that physical layer is using for media type and connectors. And again, I'm going to um, explain a little more about the physical layer in this video. Because of that, we know that when we are implementing TCP IP or enhanced TCP IP in our network, actually, we have a suite of protocols. For example, we have some protocols, some layer one protocols, some layer two protocols, some layer three protocols, layer four protocols, and also layer five protocols. Each of them can provide us the special functionality don't forget that we are talking about a modular model what does it mean it means that we can use tcp okay or udp and after that you can change the layer 3 protocol for example from ip to ipv4 to ipv6 what does it mean the functionality of each layer is independent in uh, with other layers actually you can change some of the protocols in one layer without changing other layers protocols and because each layer is independent from other layers also let me uh, to explain one a, a usage of the for example osi model or enhanced tcp ip model both of them are same assume that here we have a pc okay pc1 and we want to send traffic to one uh, other PC or one other server. Actually, here we have a media between the uh, PC and the web server, okay? And we want to receive uh, some data from the web server, okay? You know that each of them has one IP address. For example, here we have IP1, IP address of the PC1, and also you know that PC1 has MAC address because this is the Ethernet network. And also the media uh, can be uh, the, for example, copper cable can be fiber, can be radio wave. Here we are using a copper cable or twisted pair cable. Okay. And in the web server also we have IP address, IP2, and also MAC address of the, uh, for example, web uh, server. Okay. We want to send traffic uh, like a request from the PC1 to the web server. You know that we need a, one application for communication between the uh, PC1 and web server to receiving the web page, okay, or sending the web page. The name of this application is HTTP. Actually, in because in PC1 and in the web server, in both of them, we have used, we have installed the TCP IP. We have the protocol of HTTP. HTTP is available in both of these systems, okay? HTTP is available in the web server and also in the PC1. We are requesting from the HTTP how look at here in PC1 you are opening your web browser after that you are typing the URL of the web page that you want to see or IP address of the web page that you want to see after that after some process like resolution of name to the IP address with DNS we will have one request from the HTTP actually HTTP is creating for us our request like the get request this is the result of http application look at your http's application of layer 5 because of that now we have layer 5 data 
okay this is our layer 5 data and this layer 5 data is uh, the uh, for example request of us to re for receiving the web page from the http server after that this data should be prepared okay in the next uh, layer in the next application because of that http should give this uh, data the get request uh, to the uh, for example tcp or udp each application is using one of these app transport layers for example you know that http is using tcp actually now we are encapsulating the data from top of the app, tcp ip model to the bottom of the tcp ip model look at here you have learned about these topics in the ccna class now we are sending the traffic to the tcp because http accord according to the I, I, up, according to the design of designer of the http okay it should be a use at the with the tcp because of that http is giving its request to the uh, tcp now tcp is receiving our data and you know that tcp should add some a uh, header to this uh, data for example because you have learned about these topics in the ccna you you know that here we have source port and also destination port destination port is at http is using tcp at because of that here now we have layer 4 header okay after adding the layer 4 header and this is useful for uh, the the uh, for example tcp layer or the transport layer in the web server we should give it to the next layer to the ip or network layer because here we need to add ip address uh, to this data now we have l5 data okay means layer 5 data after that here we have layer 4 header include the information that tcp is added to the original data and here we have layer 3 header why because you know that here we need source ip destination ip actually we are encapsulating the data in this pass look at here the here the process of encapsulation okay is occurring and this is so important to know everything uh, correctly after that you know that this information is useful for the ip protocol in the destination after that uh, according to the media that we are using we need to encapsulate the packet uh, and also we need to convert this packet to frame uh, and uh, also for example we need to add hardware address and also the uh, error detection parameters like the fcs and also some other things that you have learned about them and also you will learn in more than before in this class because of that because here we are using twisted pair we should give this data okay this packet to the ethernet protocol you know that ethernet is adding a trailer and also header to the original data this is the layer 2 trailer okay and then we have uh, the layer 2 header okay layer 2 header include source at source mac address destination mac address type and also layer 2 trailer include the fcs and now this information is useful and is usable for the ethernet in the destination after that we can transfer the uh, for example frame this is the frame uh, over the physical layer for example here we should convert this ethernet um, frames to the electrical signals to the optical pulse or to the uh, for example wi-fi okay if you, we are using radio waves okay uh, or we are, uh, if we are using wi-fi we can convert them to the ra radio waves because of that now this data can be sent over the physical uh, layer in the physical layer for example we are using 100 base t or other, or other technologies now we have some voltages here uh, for example the voltage that we have the numbers is not important for us and finally this data okay this voltage uh, can be received by the uh, other but by the same protocol okay 100 base t on the destination again we will have this frame this frame is uh, for example receiving by the ethernet ethernet is using its header and trailer 
and then the other part of data means the packet should be sent to the IP. Again, in the IP, we are using the layer three header, and after that, we should send the information to the layer four protocol means TCP, and again, TCP is using layer four header, and after that, the layer five data should be sent to the HTTP, and this means that in the receiver, we are using the reverse process, and the reverse process name is the de-encapsulation or decaps.